Hey, hello my beautiful geeks, how is everybody doing today? Welcome back to another Animal Crossing tutorial and we're gonna finish Pokemon week high on a very high note. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and finish with Charmander. So without any further ado guys, let's get right to it. Get your Charmander on, get ready to rock and roll because we're gonna be doing some big things. Alrighty, so as you guys can see we already have our Squirtle and our Bulbasaur right here. We're gonna go ahead and do our Charmander. So. Let's get to it. I already have it pre-rendered that it already says Charmander. And everybody just follow along from home. As per usual, guys, we're going to have some fun. If you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a like. But now we're going to get right to it. We're going to clear our usual canvas. You know, again, I must sound like a broken record, but I like it all white. It's easier to work with. And we're going to start right around here. And then if anything, we can move over, okay? So we're going to start with four. One, two, three, and four. We're going to go down all the way over here. And we're going to go one, le uh, down, left, one, two, down, left, one, down, left, right here. We're going to go one, two, and three. Right and down, one, right and down, one, two, right, excuse me, down and right. And we're going to make a nice little Tetris piece right here that goes down like so. Awesome. We're gonna make one here, one here, and then we're gonna cover this area with one, two, three. So this right here should be another little Tetris piece that you guys have going on. And right here, we're gonna make one that is the opposite going down, like so. So that's gonna be what's gonna go into his little feet. All right, so we're gonna close that up by going one, two, three, four. And then we're gonna go up one, two, three. We're gonna make a right, one, two, three alrighty now we're gonna go into his tail in just a second but first we're gonna go ahead and close the body up pretty simple we're gonna go one we're gonna go one two we're gonna go one two we're gonna go one two we're gonna go one oops sorry about that we got three we're gonna go one we're gonna go over here we're gonna go one two three and we're gonna close it up going down like so. So that is the shape of his body, okay? Now to make a little paw or his little left hand over here, all we have to do is skip two right here. Go over one and we go one, two, three, and four. And now we have his little hand, pretty easy, right? For his tail, his tail is probably the easiest thing, but first we're gonna go ahead and move this over a little because I can see that we're already gonna go a little over right around there. That's what we're gonna do. It. All right, we're gonna go back to our pen tool right here. And this is where you're gonna decide where his tail's gonna go. Uh, I use this as a reference point, this right here. This is gonna be our Tetris point. And you guys know what I mean by now by Tetris pieces. We're gonna go one, two, see how it makes the shape right here of a Tetris piece. That's gonna be our reference point. So we're gonna go one, two, and then we're gonna go one, up and to the left, one, two, three, up and to the right, one, two, three up and to the right one down right one oops sorry about that that was an accident right here boom we're gonna go right and down one two right and down one two three and that's gonna be the back of his tail you can kind of already see the shape right there pretty cool right we're gonna go down here and we're gonna make a little upside down l tetra shape down and over one two down and over one and we close it up just like that so again you can already see the shape it looks pretty cool pretty cute even just like that it's like okay that's charmander i see it that's awesome and now we're just gonna go into the details guys um i forgot to mention it before but um i'm sure i put it already in the video below but uh difficulty level for this is very easy guys all you have to do is follow along even without any mirroring you can make this easy because all you have to do is really follow a little path you know and as long as you follow that path you'll be good now we're going to make a decision to where his eyes are going to go. What I like to do is kind of make it in the center. Since this is four, we're going to go one, two, three, four. So we're going to do it right here in these two. We're going to go down. Uh, I want to say about four. So one, two, three, and four. And his eye is going to go right here. Boom. We're going to make a little white piece. that's going to go right about there. And that is going to be see-through. You're going to see in a minute. Uh, we're going to use uh, about three or two variations of orange. We're going to do the one that's going to be his body, which is going to go right here. 
and you can do the filling tool and then later go over the ones that we're going to change but i just like to do it this way because i like to have more control over how i do it again you can do it your own way and if you think there's a different color orange shade that you want to use please 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 go ahead and use that uh make it your own that's what matters i'm gonna go ahead and cover all of this the only thing that we're gonna leave free right here is his belly because his belly is gonna be yellow so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover up to here you kind of make yourself a guideline up to where you're going to cover boom and then his little feet his little claws are gonna be white so we're gonna leave those blank as well uh this right here i actually made a mistake before this has to be black like so perfect all right so we're gonna go ahead and continue along like so boom 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 we're gonna cover most of it the orange color that is charmander and we're gonna go back and we're gonna do um his belly yellow and you're gonna see how we take shape this part right here is going to stay white because that's going to be his other claw okay and we're going to do the yellow of his belly right now and you you already see charmander how cute is that boom how how awesome is that now his tail is going to be mostly orange except once we get to the beginning of the flame and you're going to see how we're going to reach that effect right here we're going to make a little tetris piece of yellow like so and what is the color that you mainly think about when you think of fire? Red. So you're going to go ahead and do it like so. Hence the name of the Pokemon, Red. Boom. Look at that. And if you want, you can make this red to close out the flame, or you can make it yellow, whatever you choose. So that's our Charmander shape right there, guys. That's that's Charmander. We're, we're done with Charmander. Um, you can make, if you want, you can make a third shade of orange and then kind of just go down right here. So that it shows like the flame effect is giving it like a little shadow. That's more advanced. You guys can do that if you wish. But it would kind of look, uh, if you change the color, it would kind of look like this. Because it's making the effect of uh, it being redder. Due to the fact that it's uh, there's a shadow right there. So it would look something like that. But again, you do not have to do that. Um, that's being extra fancy. But if you kind of like that, you can go ahead and do it. You can also do a shadow on the floor. Uh, if you want to get more into detail about light and all of that. And yes, we do enjoy doing shading and stuff. But pixel art's about simplicity, you know? So you can keep it simple. Alright, and then for the around, we're going to cover everything red. Like so. For the back, we're going to cover everything red. And the sleeves, we're going to make the orange color that he has. Like so. Now, what we can do, is just like we've been doing for the other ones. We've been doing um, a different shade at the bottom. And what I'm going to do for him right here is I'm going to put the same shade of orange that he had. I'm going to put it down at the bottom right here. So it's going to start right here and it's going to go across all the way down like so. Boom. Oh, that looks so nice. And you can even go across right here. Um... My A-L-E-X-A just decided to talk to me again. She likes to do that sometimes. Alrighty then. Now, uh, on the sleeves, uh, what we can do also is we can go ahead and do red. So that it kind of goes red-orange pattern. Like so. <laughs> it looks so nice. Charmander is my favorite starter from the Kanto region. So, um, this is my favorite one so far. But maybe I'm just being biased. Uh, I went too far. Right. And if you guys want to do the Pokeball in the back, you can definitely go ahead and do it. Uh, I showed how to make the Pokeball in the first um, Pokemon episode. Uh, the one with Squirtle. You, can, you guys can go back there and watch it if you guys do want to do that. Uh, we can even get a little crazy here and kind of just keep red right here. And then red at the bottom. Just to get a little crazy. But again, you guys can do it any way that you want it. You want to do it like that. That looks nice, right? Ooh, yeah, that's nice. That's nice. That's nice. And for the back, we'll do the same so that it stays uh, cohesive and it stays even. I believe it's this one right here. And if not, we can always change it. Yes, perfect. Boom, right there. Look at that. Look at that. And then the sleeve, you can do the same thing, but you can do it maybe black. So it goes with his outline. Uh, sky's the limit, guys. Sky's the limit. 
I'm gonna go ahead and do like a black bottom right here. That's kind of like where the arms go. Like so. So it looks like that. And if you guys want, I'm just gonna show you how the top would look like if you do the top. It does like a nice little highlight. Like so. Boom. And I'm gonna keep it that way because that's how I like it. How cool is that? You can also make the hoodie uh, black if you want. That is completely up to you. You can do that and it would look really, really awesome. And again, you can add or take away whatever makes your design your own. So you don't have to follow 100%. All right, now I'm gonna do the Pokeball in the back. Uh, as per usual, I'm gonna fast forward to this part. If you guys wanna see how I did it, you can uh, just pause and then kind of look at the design. Or if you wanna see the step-by-step -step of how it's done, you can just go ahead and watch the first video. But it's very simple, it's all ZR and then mirroring, okay? So I'll see you in a bit, let me go ahead and do this. And just like that, we have the Pokeball. Pretty cool, right? And that's our Charmander design, guys. How easy was that? We're gonna go ahead and save it. It's already named Charmander. We're gonna confirm it, and boom. We have our Charmander design right there. And now we have completed all of our three starters. We have Bubblesaur, we have Squirtle, and we have Charmander. Let's go ahead and rock it. Boom. Ooh, I like that. Let's go to our trusty pier. See how it looks like. Oh, ho, 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 I like it. I'm digging it a lot. Let's see. Let's gonna go ahead and zoom in. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So we have the front with Charmander. We have the back with the Pokeball. And what do you think, little buddy? Do you like it? Of course he likes it. <laughs> but that was the Charmander, guys, and that was our three. Kanto region starters. What do you guys think? Which one was your favorite? Did you make any changes on your own? Let me know in the section below which changes you guys made. And then uh, tweet your pictures at me. Send them to my Instagram uh, at the Geek Fortress. I'm mostly active on Instagram, so you guys want to send me pictures on Instagram at the Geek Fortress. Follow me there um, and send me your pictures. You know, let me see what you guys uh, have done. I want to see how you made it. I want to see what kind of changes you made. If you made anything different, if you have done something completely different from mine, I want to see it. I definitely want to see it. And uh, it makes me happy. I love seeing your videos and see how you guys, um, or your pictures, and see how you guys did it yourselves. You know, that's the best part. I just show you the main thing, but then you guys are the ones who finish it and make it even better than mine, perhaps. Okay? So, as per usual, my mini me wants to say thank you so much, guys. You have been awesome. Do me a favor, guys. Stay awesome and geek on. And as per usual, if you guys have any suggestions of any design, any outfit that you would like me to try to make for you, leave it down in the comment section below, okay? And uh, new videos again every Tuesday, every Friday, and every Sunday with the signs, all right? That's the schedule for right now. So be on the lookout, turn on the notification bell so you guys do not miss any of my designs. Until next time, guys, this has been your boy, Lewis. Bye.